welcome back. Now, I know I left the last vlog off at a really crucial moment, but do not worry. I will be explaining that. And in fact, that is why I have Julie here with me today. So the last vlog left off with me getting a text from someone that someone was Julie. She texted me about... Can I? By all means. I've started dating this guy named Rex. Hmm. Now, internet people, you may be wondering, isn't dating what Julie's already been doing? Technically, yes. However, Rex is the first person I've been on a second date with since I started online dating. So this definitely is a mile marker. Precisely. How did you meet him? Well, I was out with friends at a bar. The Tiki Bar is open again, by the way. Ooh. I decided to re-download Ember after I took a hiatus from it. I happened to match with him, and we were both in the same place. He got us a table further from the crowd, and we talked until closing. Hmm. Sounds promising. Thanks. We exchanged numbers and went on two dates since then. I'm headed for a third one after this, actually. Oh, really? Not nervous at all? What do you mean? Well, date three means the dating relationship has potential. Have you been talking to anyone else? Only a couple people in the apps, but no dates. I'm excited for you, then. You know, it's nice to see that you've calmed yourself since the beginning. Yeah, that wasn't my best moment, but I think you'll like Rex. You have similar humor. What's his pun game? Pretty strong. Hmm. Then we shall see. How are you feeling overall about your dating life, though? It's different than what I'm used to. I guess I just needed a wake-up call to figure out what I wanted and need it. What specifically was the wake-up call? Aside from being stranded at a restaurant? Definitely our talk. It wasn't like I didn't know the risks of online dating, but there's a strange comfort in being so open with someone online and then meeting them in person. Comfort? Yeah, I'm not sure how to explain it. I could be anyone with them, and it didn't feel as if they were knowing the real me. If they don't know the real me, then they can't hurt me. Mm. So, a false sense of security, then. Exactly. I'm glad you opened up about that. From personal experience... I know what that feels like, too. At least we have each other. <laughs> Super corny, <laughs> but exactly. So, I guess we don't need a date outfit for you, since you're wearing it right now. That's fair. Uh, your dick pic tally. It's been three. <sighs> Couple puff. So, that's all for this week. Until next time, Internet, where we'll do a reenactment of Julie's date. We will? Of course. <laughs>